I basically started with a chord progression, which was like just held on the one for a while. And then the second two bars, I knew we were going to push between those two chords. And literally, as I was playing that, I just heard the melody of like, slow down. And I knew that as soon as I sang those words, I was like, okay, that's going to be the theme of the song. As soon as I had that chord progression down, I started to layer up some different sounds. So I had the pad going. Um, and then I also had like an electric piano with like loads of delay on it. But I was basically just doing like, I think God's just been teaching me how to actually rest and how to like all that stuff of abiding in him and working out of a place of like loving Jesus and that being the motivation rather than just trying to like work and do stuff and create stuff all the time. I knew that was the theme of the song and all the lyrics just like came as I was singing through like demo ideas. So I'll show you some of the beat production stuff because that's pretty much what I did next. So this is just the beat on its own. There's weird little like steel drum type sounds or whatever these are. I wanted to have lines of the song that was split in half and have like a real contrast to it. So I wanted the first couple of bars to be like really quiet and ambient and then the second bars to be really beat driven and like bass heavy and then it just like constantly alternate between the two. Uh... So it's quite simple, it just like alternates back to quiet ambient stuff and then beat for two sections. And that's pretty much the only part of the song I had. And I was just singing around that for a while. Most of the song was written from like my point of view of um, like a prayer to God. A lot of it taken from the Psalms, like I quiet my soul. Um, and I started to think about what I wanted the next section to be. I literally started to play the chords of the chorus or whatever the second section is. <laughs> Um, and as I was playing those, I was like thinking of different promises that are in the Bible. The times where Jesus says like, don't worry about tomorrow, tomorrow is enough worries for itself. And I'll never leave you, never forsake you and all these kind of things. And I just started to sing out these lines as I was playing these chords. And it, it was like God's response back to the prayers of the verse almost. And it was kind of like this crazy dialogue and prayer happening while producing and writing a song, which is kind of cool. And after that, it was just adding like fun production stuff to make it more like interesting. <laughs> so I had my own voice tracked up, I think once just as the main vocal. Render it all that you take control and slow down. And then on top of that, I had a vocoder. So I was basically playing a synth and that filters through the voice so that every time the voice comes out, you hear this synth sound coming through. I'll play it in the bridge so you can hear that. So it kind of sounds weird and spacey. Moving into the instrumental kind of drop, if it is a drop, it's kind of a very chilled out drop. One of the main parts in this is this, um, it's called a hang drum, so it's like a really melodic arpeggio thing going on. And then there's an octave up of that as well. And then the only other thing I did was I took a sample of the vocal from the verse, so where this voice comes in saying Low down. I basically took that and then changed the pitch um, so I turned it up an octave and down an octave on a different channel so you've got like a really high and really low one at the same time which sounds like this you can actually hear some of the track still in the vocal because I was just like playing it out the speakers <laughs> love is patient love is kind this is one of the main themes of the song for me where I was kind of frustrated with my progression. I think sometimes like you feel like God calls you to something and I want to be that thing like immediately and I want to see like the finished product immediately. And this verse of like love is patient, love is kind, I started thinking about um, if this is a description of love and the Bible talks about the fact that God is love, then it means that God is these things as well. So God is patient, God is kind and then see it as like God is patient with me and God is kind to me and realizing that God's actually patient with me 
it was like a mind-blowing thing for me because I was I think it like I don't think I'm patient with myself sometimes and that's really like the core theme of the track is like realizing that it's okay for things to take a while and for there to be a process in a long time so again this section I really wanted to just highlight those lyrics so I pulled out all of the instruments and it's just the voice and the vocoder effect and then I kind of dropped in these samples in the gap from the intro again so there's the um the flute sound and also this kind of brass that I run through the same delay. So that sounds like this. Um, and I think a guitar sound, which is like pitched up a little bit, a few delays and things on that. Towards the end of the song, I just had a lot of fun by like, figure out how many different noises and sounds I could get in there. <laughs> So I sampled this track that's like a piano intro from a song and kind of slowed it down, repitched it a little bit, um, which sounds like this. And then that moves into another sample, which is from some strings again. <laughs> which I had to like really cut and stretch and do all kinds of things. So like. This part fades into another part, that part's shifted up two notes, that part's back to the original key. Um, but I had those kind of in the track. I'll try and bring them out a little bit so you can hear. Um, and the string part comes in here. Just keep taking it slow. There's also a bunch of different drum fills that I wanted to do, so um, there was a section, the second time it goes into slow down, I basically wanted to have like this drum sound that literally slows down, so there's a bunch of like glitch sounds. Um, which are kind of hard to hear. Um, but it's basically the sound of like a drum beat being really like stretched out and slowed down to the point where it starts like breaking up and you hear all the little like digital artifacts and stuff. There's also a cheeky bass drop in there. <laughs> Which is like unnecessarily heavy for the track. Um, but basically with that drum fill, there's just like a bass moot sliding down a whole octave. So that just like adds to this nice little transition in there. I quite often rush stuff. And it's kind of funny that it ties into the theme of the track, but like a lot of the time I'll get stuff to a point where it's like, okay, and then just release it. Cause I'm like, sounds all right to me. <laughs> um, but this time I really like slowed down and took time to like, listen to it on a bunch of different things, listen to it on my speakers, headphones in the car, um, and just like refined all the little parts of the mix. So it's probably the one that I'm most happy with in terms of like mixing and production. Um, and I still listen to it now and I'm like, yeah, I like how that was mixed. And yeah, basically it all just comes together again with this instrumental section looped with, um, the sample from that original verse again, so. That's that brass sound again brought back in. And the string sample. Oh, 